hockey fans. With the coronavirus running around, it's likely that the regular season has ended and the playoffs will start as soon as play can begin again. Also, what is coming up is the NHL draft. It's time to see what prospects are brewing and who is likely to take them, specifically the Red Wings, just because this channel's focus is more heavily on the Red Wings, but I will be talking about a lot of prospects that the Red Wings will likely not select, so you can look check those out as well. The first prospect I wanna look at is Jamie Drysdale. He plays for the Airy Otters in the OHL. He is a right-handed defenseman. He is an offensive defenseman. Right now, he's averaging just below point per game, average with 49 games played. He is obviously the best defenseman in this year's draft, kind of like Bowen Byram was last year. Some people are saying he's the best prospect in this draft. I wouldn't take that. Lafayette is really something special. And even if we dropped a third, I still think Stutzel was a better player than Drysdale. But that is remained to seen until a couple years from now. Jamie Drysdale is a very pass-oriented player, and he sees the ice very well. He has very good vision with his passing ability. He can quarterback the power play and provide a good first pass out of his zone. His shot is more of a tool than I would say an actual shot. He uses it to set up plays more than score a goal. The only area that I would say Drysdale is very much lacking in is his defensive side. That being said, it is not far off from being NHL ready. He would need some development, probably another year in juniors at least, to develop that defensive side. What do I see Jamie Drysdale becoming after he's drafted? At worst, I see him being like a Jake Gardner or a Morgan Riley. At best, especially if he develops his defensive side, he could be up there with some Norris Trophy players like Dowdy, Hedman, something like that. But if he does not develop that defensive side, he is going to be a lot like Jake Gardner, Morgan Riley, players that, yes, they can produce a lot of points. Yes, they can kind of get the job done in their own zone, but do you really want them out there when it's game seven of the playoffs? Most likely not. Do I see the Red Wings selecting them? If they fall to the fourth overall pick, which could be a stretch, they have 50% chance of drafting in the top three, so it's still a thought though. Jamie Drysdale probably wouldn't go to the Red Wings. There is a lot of trade value in defensemen, but we have a lot of right-handed defensemen already, and good ones as well. Right now we have Maurice Sider, Philip Ronick, Jared McIsaac, and Dennis Chalowski all aiming for a spot on the NHL roster. That doesn't even include all of the B-rated and C-rated prospects that could make a jump or could pan out to be an NHL level prospect. But adding in a high level prospect may not be a bad idea. Especially when you think about Dennis Chalowski, he's still struggling to provide a foothold. Sure, he's 21, 22, 23, somewhere in that area, so he does have some time to get to that NHL level. But if the Red Wings choose to draft Drysdale, you could easily trade away Dennis Chalowski for a good prospect pick, maybe a forward that's uh, 2014, 2015, someone that's already kind of starting to establish himself that can play with Dylan Larkin, Mantha, Bertuzzi, Robbie Fabry now all those players. What do you guys think? Does Jamie Drysdale go earlier? Does he go below? Did the Red Wings select them? Do the Red Wings select Jamie Drysdale in this year's draft? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, lights out in the Red Light District.